to Cup Night! Everyone all right for kindling? Everyone all right for, 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 for kindling? Everyone all right for gives a piece of kindling for well it has it has got cold. It has got cold. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> look at you. I grew up. I grew up in the 70s, and I remember my mum always used to say to me, never accept sweets from strangers. <laughs> and unfortunately, by that, I assumed that savoury items were okay. <laughs> Yeah, French kissed a lorry driver for a packet of frazzles. <laughs> oh, what of it? What of it? It was a different time. The 70s. There was no hashtag Me Too in the 70s. Well, there was no hashtag. It was just Me Too. How do I get involved? <laughs> yeah, I want some. It was a different time, the 70s. The days of the great British sex pest. Yeah, <laughs> in the 70s. Every village. <laughs> Every village had a flasher. Yeah. <laughs> you knew where he lived. You just walked a bit faster when you went past his house. <laughs> Was that so difficult? Huh? The flasher, the heavy breather, and the old British art of stealing knickers off a lady's washing up. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the old skills. <laughs> Ruined by the advent of the tumble dryer. Ruined. <laughs> Ruined. Yeah, the 70s. <laughs> We were tougher back then, yeah. There was no such thing as soft play areas for kids. <laughs> Swings were built on the hardest substance known to man. <laughs> Concrete. <laughs> if you fell off, you cracked your head open. Simple as that. Yeah, not just cracked it, cracked it open. Yeah. <laughs> so you could see in, see all the workings. Yeah, everyone in the 70s knew at least one person who'd cracked their head open. Hmm? <laughs> Donut. Yeah, he fell off the swing, cracked his head open. You could see all the workings. <laughs> we were tougher back then in the 70s. Less emotional, right? For instance, in the 70s, no one would put a bunch of flowers by the side of the road where there'd been a fatal car crash. Because in the 70s, all car crashes were fatal. <laughs> right? No one walked away from a car crash. He went straight through the windscreen. <laughs> because no one. <laughs> wore a seatbelt. No one wore a seatbelt. You sat on your nan's lap in the front. <laughs> Five kids on the back seat, one loose in the boot. Yes. <laughs> and all of us smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a light, nan. You got a light. Yeah. And the reason we smoked was because we liked the smell, we liked their taste, and we liked the colour. It made our fingers go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and we liked the way it shortened our lives because in the 70s, there was no ageing population, right? <laughs> People in the 70s had the decency to drop dead shortly after they'd retired. <laughs> they didn't hang around to become a burden, right? <laughs> 67 was a good age for a man, right? A bit older for a woman. No one in the 70s lived to be 100. Right? Why do you think the Queen introduced that telegram system? Right? <laughs> she didn't think she'd be sat there all day writing that telegram. Happy 100th like, birthday! Happy 100th birthday! In the 70s, there were no cures. If you got ill, you died! <laughs> Simple as that, right? But you always saw the same GP. Yes, you always saw the same GP. And you know what? You respected your local doctor. Even though you knew of at least three people personally that he'd killed by accident. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I tell you one thing, in the 70s, if you saw a grown man going to work on a kid's scooter, you'd call the police. <laughs> yeah. You'd call it, he was a nonce until proven otherwise. <laughs> Listen, bit of bad news, my rabbit's been ill this week. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Yeah, been ill. Yeah, I took him to the vet. And he said that he had a problem with his brain. Yeah, the rabbit had a problem with his brain and needed a brain transplant. Far-fetched, <laughs> I know. All right, <laughs> bear with it. So I agreed to the operation, but unfortunately, they couldn't find another rabbit's brain 
to match. <laughs> so what they had to use was the brain of the nearest relative of the rabbit, the hare, OK? <laughs> so the good news is the operation has been successful, right? He's back to normal. Well, I say that. I have noticed that since the operation, a lot of his schemes have become increasingly... Um, uh, <laughs> ..far-fetched. <laughs> Anyone got kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a daughter, and when I get home tonight, I will quietly let myself into a room, and I'll stand at the end of a bed, and I'll marvel at this great gift. I will stand there for a few short moments and say a silent prayer, thanking God for putting someone so special into my life. <laughs> Best not to do it when she's got blokes back, though. <laughs> here's the church, here's the steeple. Look inside. Yeah, not as popular as they used to be, are they? <laughs> Now, you know who I used to like as a kid, right? I used to love Morecambe and Wise, yeah? Morecambe and Wise, great, yeah. Let's have a round of applause, yeah. Yeah, I used to love... I used to love to watch their shows, but what used to make me feel sick to the stomach was at the end of their show when they do that swastika dance. <laughs> <laughs> Why would... Why would anyone do an hour of family entertainment, <laughs> then do a dance celebrating the most evil regime <laughs> ever to walk the earth? <laughs> and as they dance, they sang, Bring me sunshine. <laughs> as if they thought that Britain might have been better under the Nazis. <laughs> Whatever next? Anton Deck singing, Let's get ready to rumble, whilst <laughs> bending their bodies to spell out the letters of the evil death cult, Isis. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> rumble. Huh? What next? The Chuckle Brothers singing Chuckle Vision whilst bending their bodies to spell out the name of the evil West African terror group, Boko Haram? <laughs> That's a bit more difficult. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I came out tonight, uh, just before I left, uh, my mum called me, right, and I could hear all these bombs going off in the background. Yeah, weird. <laughs> bombs and guns going off in the background. I said, where are you, Mum? She said, uh, she said, I'm in Lebanon. <laughs> I said, what are you doing there? She said, well, I'm getting those pants you wanted me to get for Christmas. <laughs> I said, Mum, Debenhams. <laughs> Debenhams, Debenhams, <laughs> Debenhams. <laughs> Leave them alone, they're in trouble. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, there was, uh, there was a strangling last night in the house next door. Did you hear about it? Yeah, there was a strangling in the house next door. You probably heard about it. The police came round and said to me, what were your movements between 7.30 and 8.30 last night? I said, uh, movements? Well, uh, I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Strangling? I said, no, tightening up the main nut on a roulette wheel. <laughs> He said, why are you moving about? I said, I'm in the back of the van, all right. <laughs> but the word God backwards, anyone? The word God? Yeah. The quickness, the quickness crowd. I love this crowd. Uh, dog, yeah. God backwards is dog. Uh, Jesus backwards, anyone? Sausage! <laughs> Sausage! Sausage! Huh? You're not telling me that's a coincidence? <laughs> uh, maybe there's something in it after all. Sausage! Hey, you don't get that with Richard Dawkins, do you? Huh? <laughs> Richard Dawkins backwards, Drakir Snickwad. <laughs> that tells you all you need to know. This week, bit of bad news, my nan died. Oh, oh yeah, so sad, give her a peanut. Yeah, she died, she died again. Yeah, she wanted to, she'd been ill for a while, she wanted to end it all, and she wanted to go to that, she said, I want to go to that Dignitas. Clinic, you know, the Dignitas suicide clinic in Switzerland, yeah? Uh, she said, I want to take me to Dignitas. <laughs> well, I thought that's what she wants, so I arranged the flights. Uh, quite tricky to get travel insurance for that particular trip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> business or pleasure? Well, a bit of both, as a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> look at it. Uh, so we check in, right? We check into the Dignitas suicide hotel. Quite a nice room, you know, tea and coffee making facilities, Netflix. 
But it was only... <laughs> it was only when I was tucking her in that I realised what she was actually saying was Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland! Disneyland! Yeah! Touch it! Well... Well, I said to her, now it's a shame to waste a trip. We're here now. <laughs> We're here now. I don't, I don't know why you're laughing. That sort of bloke that keeps the transit bolt off his washing machine on the off chance that he moves house during the lifetime of the machine. <laughs> hey? <laughs> loser! <laughs> loser! <laughs> loser! <laughs> Double loser! <laughs> but your mum works in Debenhams. <laughs> Debenhams! 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 Everybody! Debenhams! Debenhams! Debenhams, Debenhams, Debenhams. Just the ladies now. Debenhams, Debenhams, Debenhams. Just the men now. Debenhams, Debenhams, Debenhams. It's a bit scuttle. It's fizzing the bottle. It's nicky full throttle. It's on. It's swimming in the grotto. We win the lottery. We dip in the pot of blue foam. A kid so good, he's dipping on wood. Take a ride on the engine that could go. Batman robbing it, bang, bang, cocking it. Queen Nicky dominant, prominent. It's me, Jesse and Ari. If they test me, they sorry. Ride him up on his high, pull the way on his Ferrari. If we hang him, we bang him. For and he's saying, Did he carry your key night to get the mic? Cause he's saying, A B to the A to the N to the G to the O, a B to the A to the N to the G to the A, a D to the E to the B to the E to the N, H, A to the M to the S, Timberlands! Snacks. I love this crowd. Look at this lady undressing me with her eyes. <laughs> Too late, darling. I say, ring on it. Ring on, ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Just one of Beyonce's tips on keeping pigeons. <laughs> no. Get on for the laughter train. Well, this week I donated a scanner to the local hospital. Yes, thank you. Yes, I donated. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I donated a scanner to the local hospital. Well, I say scanner, it can also be used as a printer. If you could... <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Nice to see a few people wearing the, uh, the pop... The pop... Where's your poppies, guys? <laughs> No, the poppy, of course, has special significance for my granddad because between the years 1939 to 45, he was a heroin addict. <laughs> help me find the vein, son. Come on, help me find the vein. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we tried to make him go to rehab, but he said, uh, he said, uh, well, I can't remember offhand, but I remember broadly he was very negative about the whole idea. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and you know when you're picking your wife up from prison? Uh, <laughs> yeah, on my side. Yeah, yeah, she's all self-conscious about her tag, isn't she? <laughs> oh, everyone's looking at me tag! <laughs> and you're saying, look, no one's looking at your ankle, darling. Now, let's get you under the blanket and into the van. Come on, <laughs> let's get you in. Yeah, yeah, she was in prison for a while. You know what that's like, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you're in prison, how to survive, you have to get in with the gang leader on your wing, right? In this case, it was a Mexican lady, so she started communicating solely in Mexican prison code. Yeah, I went to see her, and she's like that. <laughs> to me. Yeah, and I said, you want a roll neck jumper? Yeah, a roll neck jumper. <laughs> yeah, and a Twix. A roll neck jumper. <laughs> <laughs> so to get in with her... My wife, she smuggled in a phone for her. Yeah, she smuggled in a phone, a bit uncomfortable, a bit sore for her. <laughs> because it was a landline. It was a landline! <laughs> Although I did say at the time there was no need for her to include the 12-foot extension lead <laughs> and answer machine. <laughs> Uh, well, it was, it was Nan's funeral this week. Aww. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, it was Nan's funeral. Because um, she died last week, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and I do miss her. No, I, please, I do miss her. In fact, I was walking around her house earlier in the week. Uh, well, I say her house, my house now. Results. <laughs> 
So we had her embalmed, right? Yeah, we thought we'd throw some money at it. And the, the funeral director said, have you got any photos of your grandmother from when she was alive that we could work off? Unfortunately, the only photograph we had of her was on the log flume at Alton Towers. <laughs> on a key ring. Yes. I'll, I'll never forget when we lifted the coffin lid. There she was. <laughs> well, oh, I love this crowd. <laughs> and isn't it embarrassing when a pubic hair becomes inadvertently included in a thank you note? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Auntie. Thank you, Auntie. Sorry, Auntie. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Overarm. <laughs> frightening. Frightening. Underarm. <laughs> We're all having fun, aren't we? <laughs> First, we were hunter-gatherers. We were hunter-gatherers. We collect nuts and berries from the woodland floor. Then we discover how to eat another's kill. We eat the raw meat, the blood drip down our faces. Then we discover how to kill for ourselves with primitive bow, arrow, spear. Then we eat the raw meat, the blood would drip. Then we discover fire. We learn how to cook the meat and then my parents separated and we were taken into care. <laughs> Come on, get up on the... Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was my nan's funeral again this week. <laughs> yeah, because she, like, died. <laughs> and... <laughs> it, is, it is tricky choosing a coffin, isn't it? It's tricky choosing a coffin. Do you go for a fancy wooden one? Should we be using up trees to make coffins? Hasn't there been enough death? Plus, of course, <laughs> there's, the, there's the price issue, isn't there? <laughs> Which is how we ended up burying my nan in a fridge. <laughs> yeah. Well, often after someone's died, there's often a fridge knocking about, isn't there? <laughs> Very difficult to get rid of. And the great thing about burying someone in a fridge is if someone wants to view the body, when they open the lid, a light comes on. <laughs> yeah, and we wanted one of those floral tributes saying Nan, you know, spelt out in flowers. Yeah, rather a nice touch. So I went round to the bloke who grows all the different names and um, <laughs> <laughs> he was right out of Nan's. Yeah, one of their big sellers. Yeah, what with the cold snap. He said, he said, go have a look in the field, see if there's any others that suit, right? Uh, so I go out in the field, it was mainly the less popular names, right? So there's a couple of rows of Donald, um, not as popular as it used to be. There was a whole field of Hitler. Um, and in the end, what I did was I bought a Dean, right? I bought a Damien. And I took the A and the N off the Dean, the N off the end of the Damien, so down one side of the fridge, there it was, Nan, spelt out in flowers. And on the other side, I had enough letters left over to spell out, I am dead. <laughs> Pretty balls, huh, huh, scary, tennis balls. Everyone's having a good time. Now, everyone all right for a drink, everyone all right for a drink, you're all right for a drink. <laughs> Oh, it comes out very hard. I, I, sorry, mate, yeah. Oh, no, Bob. Oh, no. It's all over his glasses. Sort of both that grew up in a village where the post office also sells bras. No, of course not. <laughs> bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Now, uh, well, my nan said to me the other day, she said, uh, she said, well, one of those things that all the kids have got. I want one of those things that all the kids have got. I've seen them all. They've all got them. I said, what, an iPhone? She said, no, a knife. Oh, no! <laughs> Back on the tea now! Back on for all cut, yeah! Uh, not, no, please, a lot of talk. There's been a lot of talk about knife crime, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Very little talk about the sister of knife crime, the fork crime. Very little... <laughs> Uh, the reason for that is that the main victim of fork crime uh, is... Uh, uh, sausages. <laughs> Sausages! Sausages! Yeah. I like to go to a Tesco Express and take as long as I would in a normal Tesco. All right! <laughs> huh? Don't tell me how fast to shop. All right! <laughs> Let's see this click on this. This guy here, yeah. Sort of bloke who keeps his marmalade in the fridge and consumes it within three days of opening. No one does that. <laughs> it's a guideline. It's a sort of bloke who buys his lunch in boots. Yeah? Yeah? 
Who buys food from a chemist? <laughs> Who buys food from... What's for dinner, Dad? I don't know. I thought I'd pop down the chemist, see where they go. <laughs> uh, they got a new chef down the chemist today. <laughs> they got a new Michelin-starred chemist. He buys his lunch in boots. <laughs> what did you have for lunch, huh? What'd you have for lunch? Uh, a, a packet of straps was in a cheese baguette? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what'd you have for lunch? A ham sandwich and a bottle of Dettol? Uh, sausages! Sausages! I like to go to a Sainsbury's local 200 miles away from where I live. <laughs> Don't tell me how far away to shop. <laughs> what'd you have for lunch? Uh, a watch battery and a ducking hoisting sauce rack. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I'm out and about, I like to pay contactless. You like me with a credit card? Boop, like that. So much easier, isn't it? Boop, like that. Uh, boop, uh, boop, boop, boop. The uh, contactless. You don't have to make uh, contact, but I'll be honest with you, uh, nine times out of ten, when I am paying contactless, uh, I do make contact. I do. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I figure I'm down there anyway. I might as well just press it on the, on the card reader. Boop, like that. Press it hard on the card reader. Has it gone through yet? Has the payment gone through yet? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I make more contact with contact less than I do a chip and pin after time. I do. <laughs> I do. I rub it on to get a bit of heat going like that. Come on. Has the payment gone through yet? Has the payment gone through? And no guy can tell me about my mother. Sixteen shots we go longer than a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I put the body in the pot to my burn like a rubber. No boy can this me or my mother. <laughs> Here ain't safe, everybody need armor. Sixteen shot, we go a lot further than a ladder. Look at that, look at that, kaka, kaka, ra, kaka, kaka, ra. Has he gone through yet? <laughs> oh, oh, oh.